Hi, my name is Christina Bell. I'm with Network in Action, and I'm excited to invite two of my members from My Staff, Your Staff. Uh, they are a member of Network in Action North Austin, Fran and Lorena Armstrong. Thank you for joining me today. Hi, Christina. Hi, Christina. How are you guys? Thanks for, thanks for having us as your guests. We appreciate that. Oh my gosh, I'm thrilled. So, <laughs> Just to kind of start things off, will you tell our viewers a little bit about your company and what you do? Okay. My Staff, Your Staff is a premier outsourcing uh, bookkeeping firm. And I started my company in 1994 in, down in South Florida. And so I've been in business for quite some time. And uh, we specialize in job costing, cost accounting for most of our clients. Most of our clients come to us in the construction industry, although we have other clients as well. And we specialize in automating processes for our clients and getting their books straight and closing, you know, dogmatic about making sure that we are doing an accurate financial report for our clients every month. Okay, fantastic. And so you work with a lot of small business owners. I think that's probably an understatement, right? But you work with a lot of <laughs> small business owners. And so I'm just curious, what are the common mistakes or the issues that you're seeing out there in working with these business owners? So I'll let Lorena uh, take that question. A common issue that I see with a lot of small business owners is lack of internal controls. What we call internal controls in the business world. What that basically means is don't put all your eggs in one basket. If you let one person hold all the keys to everything, you could get into some trouble later on down the road. We put in place internal controls, which help protect your business, protect the integrity of your data, protects your money, protects your confidential data, you know, uh, confidential data of your customers, confidential data of your banking info, confidential data of your employees' personal information. So we see a lot of companies who are, you know, business owners start businesses because they're good at what they do, but they don't necessarily know the ins and outs of how to run an actual business. Yes. And so one of the uh, number one common mistakes that I find with most business owners is that they trust their employees. Mm -hmm. Now, to me, that's not a problem. You should have trustworthy, loyal employees. But in most cases, especially when you're a startup or you're a small organization and you have one person trying, trying to do everything, all, wearing all the hats in your business, that person can encounter a situation that nobody anticipated. Some hardships come along that they had no, no reason to believe that they would ever need to ask the boss for more money or mm -hmm. want to have a bigger paycheck to pay for some unforeseen episode. And a lot of people are not forthcoming. They're not going to go to their boss and say, you know, I went gambling and lost $10,000 and now I got to pay my bills or whatever and I need to figure out what to do with that. You, you, your employees are not gonna to come to you with that, right? They're right. simply just gonna create a place where they can take the money from you. And right. because you've given them the keys to the kingdom, they have access to your emails, they can see all incoming emails, they know how to create new emails, they created a new email for your address and now they have charges on your bank account or your debit card or your American Express going to another email so you never see it, you know, um, or they're figuring out how to pay themselves in a payroll because you're not looking at the payroll. You just have given them that job and you feel confident that they're handling it properly and they're paying all your employee, employees properly, but you don't bother looking at, they also gave themselves an extra hundred dollars or $200 every week for the last 13 weeks. You just didn't realize it, you right. know? So there's a lot of things that, business owners don't see and are not looking for. Right. And having an outside uh, set of eyes, those are the kinds of things that we put internal processes in place so we can readily find those quickly. A lot of business owners don't know how to do that. They don't, well, what do I do different for you? What do I, how do I not make my employee feel like I don't trust them, <laughs> you know? Um, and so there's different things that we can do for our clients to help them be able to get access to that kind of information and see that 
before it becomes a problem or before you've lost a lot of money. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes total sense. So if you're talking to business owners out there, what kind of tips can you give them to help deal with some of these situations? So one of the things that I've learned in my own business is that we never put everything together. So I won't have my cloud services and my email exchange services and my telephone voice over IP services all by the same provider. Mm. Because when, when you do that, if your provider goes down, you go black. Mm. Nobody can get to you. I can't get to you by phone. I can't get to you by email. I can't get to my data. I can't get to my cloud. So we want to promote having separate things. So I use Office 365 through somebody else who doesn't have your cloud. Like don't buy that in the same place. Right? Don't buy your phone services from the same cloud provider. Buy that from somebody else. Um, so that helps bring separation. We do the same thing with payroll. Don't have your payroll in QuickBooks because when QuickBooks goes down, you can't get to your payroll. And then people freak out when they can't get their paychecks. Yes, so have your do. payroll. Have a payroll provider who can do payroll for you outside of your little bubble and your little world. And you're going to be so much happier when things start to, to take a fall for you. So um, nobody's protected from ransomware. Nobody's protected from the internet going down. It's just a matter of when and not if it's going to happen. You know <laughs> Marina, that do you have any tips? I would say no as a business owner. What are the things that you cannot pass on to a trusted employee? The things that you as the business owner really have to do yourself. You really have to get your bank statement mailed to your house and look at it every month. You can't trust an employee to do that for you. I mean, an employee can, can look at it and reconcile it, but you also need to be looking at it. Don't trust an employee to have unfettered access to your bank accounts, to your money, to sending money out. That's something that as the owner only you should be doing. Don't blindly trust that your employee is filing all your payroll tax reports. You should be reviewing them those because ultimately that's your responsibility. These are the kind of things I'm talking about. Know what kind of things you are on the hook for as the business owner and don't ever, it's, it's tempting because you want to do what you're good at and what you love to do and maybe checking your bank statement isn't something you love to do, but it's something really important that you can't afford to pass off. Man, guys, these are huge. I mean, these are- Well, there's one more tip that's really important, Christina, also, is that a lot of business owners tend to go get a signature stamp. Um, oh, no, don't do that. So they can, yes. they can give it to their employee and say, sign my checks for me. Yeah. Or sign other things for me with a signature stamp. Mm. And they think that they're being uh, proactive and protecting that signature stamp by keeping it in the state. But yet you gave the combination to the same to your trusted employee. So, so it's not really a good idea. We want to talk about automate, automate, automate so that you can still be in charge of money going out of your business with your own fingers, your own hands, and your own um, right mind because you're the one who can say approve, approve, approve to pay, and it pays automatically through your, through your cell device. Yeah. Wow. Okay, great. Guys, those are fantastic. That is such good to know. I think sometimes business owners, they, there's only so many hours in the day, so they're trying to make these efficient, but there are ways that those efficiencies, if they're not done carefully, can really come back up to haunt you. Okay, perfect. So last question for you guys. How are you different? You know, we see out there lots of bookkeepers and accounting companies and, you know, so, but my staff, your staff, you guys really offer a different experience for, for your clients. Can you share with our viewers a little bit more about that? Yeah, so one of the biggest um, differences that I believe we are is that we believe in our mission statement, which is in service to others to create life, work, and harmony in that order. So we believe our business owners should have a life first and not work. And work needs to be a priority to create the life but it shouldn't overtake the life. So we believe that you should have your life and your work and they should be in harmony with each other. And so we are going to create that environment in order to make that happen for you. So we're going to be wanting to be in partnership with all of our clients 
to become their trusted advisors to make sure that their employees are not stealing from them and checking the transactions to make sure that they make sense and that they're rational for the business. Like, why are you buying a yacht when you don't have enough money to buy a yacht? So that wouldn't be a business expense. There's no way to rationalize that with the IRS. So that's another thing that we're highly concerned with is having the client be able to pass those audits. Again, an audit is when is it going to happen, not if it's going to happen. It's going to happen. You're going to get audited as a business owner, either through sales taxes or uh, the, the city or state will audit you or the IRS will audit you. Um, and it all depends on how well you have covered your tracks when it comes to auditing. How well is your audit trail? Can I make sense of this transaction? And so we're going to be those people who are going to constantly be dogmatic about getting that documentation. You spent this money, where's the bill for it, right? right. Don't be making up bills for your for your subcontractors, uh, uh, you know, because an, an IRS audit won't accept that. They're like, where's your subcontractor? Why has he got his own bills? Why are you creating dummy bills for them? You know, anybody can create dummy bills to avoid taxes. Mm -hmm. And that's the way the IRS sees it, is that you're just doing tax avoidance, mm -hmm. you know? And, and that's, well, it's actually tax fraud. Avoidance is using tax laws to avoid paying more taxes. Tax fraud is creating fake bills and creating scenarios where you're not paying more taxes and then you go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> when they don't cover you. So, um, and they're not very kind about that, right? They, they know all the tricks in the books. They've seen it all done before. Um, so that's one of the things that makes us different is that we want to be in partnership with you. We want to be your advisors. We want to help you grow your business and scale your business. We want to provide a team for you, not just a bookkeeper or one person that works your books. Everybody knows what to do. We're cross-trained on how to do all your work for you. Do you have anything else you want to add to that, Lorena? I was going to talk about our awesome team, but you covered that. No, talk about our awesome team some more. I think one of the really interesting and unique things about us is that we work in a team concept. A lot of other businesses like us assign you one person who's your account manager person who does all of your work and who's there to answer all your questions. So really you're limited to what that one person's knowledge and skills actually are. Whereas we work in a team environment where we have experts in each area of our team and you have access to all of them. So you have a payables expert, you have a payroll expert, you have a business management expert when you need help with those things. Fantastic. And it's very scalable. One person maxes out at 40 hours. A cross-trained team doesn't max out until much, much further down the line. That's a great point. That's a great point. As well as the team gets to rely on each other as far as expertise is concerned. So if there's something that team member doesn't know, they can draw on another team member and say, hey, team member, I'm confused about this transaction. What should I do with it? Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, guys, you guys really are building something, something really amazing and something very different out there in the marketplace. So I appreciate you coming today and spending some time with me and sharing some information about your business. Before we leave, if someone wanted to reach out to you, what's the best way to connect with you? The best way to connect with us is to check our website, mystaffyourstaff.com. There's a lot of really great information there and there's a lot of ways to connect with us there. We have a Facebook and we have a website that allows you to submit a form or send us an email. You can even book a time on our calendar to have a phone call with us to chat about your business. Perfect, perfect. We also are on a lot of social media, so you can find us anywhere. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us on LinkedIn. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Google Business. So we're pretty much get pretty accessible. Nice, perfect. Well, thank you again. I appreciate y'all coming today, sharing more about My Staff, Your Staff. Uh, again, I, I hope any of our viewers that have questions or if you're looking for a way to really leverage your finances and find a way to increase your business and increase your, your, um, your reach within your business, you know, reach out to Fran and Lorena and I know they'll be happy to help. Thank, thank you, guys. Christina. Perfectly said. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, perfect. So I can edit that at the end. Let me stop.